Hi there, Jorbs here coming at you with another Spire Side chat. We've been looking at some of the new characters cards. The Watcher is out on the main PC branch as of January 14th. She's already been available to play publicly on the beta branch on PC for a while, so I've definitely played this character for a few months already and have some pretty developed opinions on the cards. I want to talk today about Lesson Learned, which is a very, very unique effect. Uh, nothing quite like this in the other three base characters. Let's see, there's Ritual Dagger, which is a colorless card where every time you kill an enemy, Ritual Dagger gets stronger, which is sort of like a card that makes the cards in your deck stronger every time you kill an enemy. There's also Feed for Ironclad, where if you kill an enemy with Feed, your max HP goes up, so you like get stronger on account of... Uh, this fatal trigger, which triggers whenever this card kills a non-minion enemy. But the idea of having this lesson learned, which lets you in combat create a permanent upgrade for a random card in your deck, is brand new. And evaluating how good it is for a 2 energy card which only deals 10 damage. So clearly it's not a very good attack. There are a lot of attacks that deal a lot more damage than that for... Uh, for less than two energy, actually. Um, but how good is this card by merit of it upgrading a random card in your deck is a thing that's worth asking. And because the question is being asked, I get the opportunity to talk about how good an upgrade is on a card, which is... It's a very difficult thing to talk about. I did a video uh, a long time ago that you can Google where I talked about how good elite fights were. And I came up with the idea that they were a little bit better than campfires because the relic plus card reward plus gold plus potentially getting a potion ended up being more valuable than an upgrade was. But it depends which upgrade. Because some upgrades in this game are very, very, very good. Um, if you look at the Watcher card pool, upgrading Meditate so that it puts two cards from your discard pile into your hand instead of one card, it doesn't just make the card better, it like fundamentally changes how some decks are going to function. All of a sudden you can guarantee combinations of cards that you couldn't before. All of a sudden, if you have two copies of Meditate Plus, you can use a Meditate to get back a different Meditate and a card that you want to play every turn and keep recurring that over and over again and keep playing the same card over and over again. So Meditate Plus like feels like a different card from Meditate, almost. The effect of upgrading it is so drastic. Um, if you look at Lake Water, which upgrades to give you two extra block at the end of each turn if you're in Calm Stats, this is a less in your face upgrade but this upgrade's also incredibly 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 strong over the course of like a fight where this card's in play for five turns this upgrade's giving you an extra 10 block on a card that only cost you one energy 10 block is how much block a relic like anchor would make you in a fight and anchor is an incredibly strong relic so so this upgrade's very good too um there are other number upgrades which are very good, like Talk to the Hand makes it so every time you attack the enemy with the debuff on it, you get three block instead of two block, which adds up to a lot of block over the course of a fight a lot of the time. Wave of the Hand is an interesting one, where Wave of the Hand Omni upgraded is so good that sometimes you don't have to upgrade it. Um, but if you aren't that good at gaining block in a turn when you uh, play Wave of the Hand, then upgrading it so you're doubling how much weak is applying to all enemies can be incredibly good too. But then there are other cards which legitimately the upgrade doesn't do that much. So we looked at ways that upgrades could like fundamentally change how your deck worked. Like all of a sudden your deck is able to pull off combos that it couldn't otherwise if Meditate gets upgraded. We looked at upgrades which significantly increase the output of your deck, like you create much more block if you have like water or talk to the hand. There are also upgrades that just don't do that much. Swivel upgrade gets you three more block when you play this two energy card. This upgrade 
like it's plausible that could make you win a run that you're going to lose otherwise, but it's not that likely. This upgrade's not that good. It's just not a very, very good upgrade. There's a, like, this upgrade makes your attack deal two damage every time you play it. Not really that incredible. Wreath of Flame's a bad card to begin with, and its upgrade certainly doesn't change that. Some upgrades are like energy upgrades, and sometimes an energy upgrade's very important for helping you to scale into a fight faster, more rapidly get your stuff deployed. But another runs the energy upgrade doesn't really matter because you already have enough energy anyway. And some cards are upgrading to become a Nate. There are actually a few cards in the Watcher card pool which upgrade to become a Nate, which can be good, but it actually can be bad as well. Sometimes you have like an awkward turn one and you don't want establishment in your turn one hand because you're going to be more capable of playing it on like turn two or three just by merit of which relics you have and how you set up over the course of the first three turns of a fight. So the general point that I'm trying to make about upgrades is that some of them are really, really, really important and can easily make a deck that was going to lose turn into a deck that's going to win. Other upgrades don't do that much. And an interesting thing about Slay the Spire is that you generally get to choose to upgrade a few cards over the course of the run at campfires. So generally, if you have a few cards where the upgrade's going to cause you to win the run, you can upgrade those. And then the other cards, like either you don't take them if they're bad on upgraded, or you take upgraded versions of them because that makes them good enough, or you just don't bother upgrading them because it's not that important. So, overall... I think we all understand that it's possible to win runs of Slay the Spire where you don't upgrade every card in your deck, right? And we also understand that some of the upgrades in our deck are not that important. And Lesson Learned is very, very, very powerful for sure. It's very powerful to have every card in your deck upgraded. But a trap that I see my viewers fall into sometimes when they're analyzing cards, especially this comes up all the time when we're analyzing armaments, is that viewers identify the concept of upgrading cards in your deck as something that makes your deck like stronger on turn five and there are very specific upgrades that can make your deck a lot stronger on turn five but most upgrades don't do very much for your turn five deck most of the time the thing that's going to make your deck a lot stronger on turn five is like having one more copy of establishment or having any copy of Establishment, I should say, actually, because you have one of these cards is probably enough. Or having one more copy of Wish is going to make your deck quite a lot stronger on turn 5. And the thing about Lesson Learned is that this is a rare card, so a decent amount of the time that you're offered it is going to be as a boss reward, and you're going to be having to pick it over something like that Establishment or that Wish. Now what I will say that upgrades do a lot better than making your deck strong on turn 5 generally, is upgrades do make your deck a lot stronger on turn like 1, 2, and 3. And that's definitely a real thing. So when I'm looking at Lesson Learned, what I'm thinking, and I think this is a very strong card and it makes for some very easy runs because you just start snowballing with it and you do incredibly. But what I'm thinking about when I think of Lesson Learned is, one, is my deck already good enough at hallway fights for me to consistently play this card and get an upgrade out of it. Do I have like potions that support me getting those upgrades to get the snowball rolling? Do I have that sort of stuff going on? If so, Lesson Learned becomes a more appealing card for sure. And then two, can the upgrades that I'm getting out of this deck fix the problem that the deck has with like late game boss fight sort of things? And if they can't, am I having to take Lesson Learned over a card that does that for me? Because if Lesson Learned is going to like upgrade a couple of Meditates over the course of a run and get me to a point where I'm just winning super comfy um, because of what Meditate does in some other way, then sure, I can take Lesson Learned over Establishment. But if Lesson Learned is going to give me a bunch of upgrades that make my deck stronger in turn 1, 2, or 3, but I don't really have much that makes my deck incredibly strong on turn 5, 
then lesson learned might not be a card that's worth taking over something that does give me the late fight scaling. Um, I'll say that Deva Form is, is not my favorite card for Watcher. I don't think this card is generally incredibly powerful because it just costs too much energy to put in play, and there are other ways to get the effect that are better than it. But I might take Deva Form of Lesson Learned if it was what I needed. Because sometimes that is what you need. You need to make sure that your deck can win on turn 5 or 6. And yeah, I just want to make sure that when you're evaluating Lesson Learned, don't fall into the trap of thinking that having all of your cards upgraded means that you can beat the Ascension 20 heart, because it doesn't. You, you don't just need upgraded cards to beat the game at the highest difficulty, you need the right cards. And if you have the right cards, like having the right cards is more important than having upgraded cards a lot of the time. So just make sure that when you're taking Lesson Learned, and for sure, you know, take Lesson Learned and play fights in a slow way to make sure that you can get your upgrades as much as possible within reason don't take like 50 damage for an upgrade uh probably um <laughs> yeah just make sure that you're you're not taking it over like the establishment that's going to win you the run um don't get the blinders on here and forget that you know a couple of upgraded cards that work very well together can often be enough to win the game for you you don't necessarily have to upgrade every single card in your deck with something like Lesson Learned. Anyway, I think Lesson Learned is a really interesting card. It makes for some fun runs for sure. And I hope you enjoyed hearing me chat about it. I'll see you next time.